In this video, we are going to discuss OBF fault on ATV61 and ATV71 drives. The VFD monitors the voltage on the DC bus, and when that DC bus reaches a trip threshold, the VFD trips on OBF fault. Now there are multiple causes to OBF faults, and we're going to discuss them individually. If the drive trips on OBF fault while starting, then we need to make sure we check the catch on the fly parameter and make sure it's enabled. And I'll show you where the parameter is located uh, using SoMove software. So if you open the file and go under parameters, go under fault management, there you will see FLR parameter which is right here and make sure you turn that on and of course you got to make sure that your application allows it so that's one uh, secondly you know the uh, OBF fault can also occur because of some uh, power issues power disturbances so need to check for example transformer line load reactors etc you can also measure line voltage on L1, L2, L3 terminals off the VFD and measure face-to-face -face voltages. Make sure the voltage is within tolerance. You can also check and see what the VFD reads for the line voltage or the mains voltage. And you can actually see it under the operate tab and so move can monitor and see what that line voltage is and compare that to your measured value. You need to also measure the DC bus voltage on the VFD itself and make sure that DC bus voltage is not too high. It should be approximately about 1.41 times your line voltage. That was the first scenario. Now second scenario if the VFD is tripping during normal running speed, then you need to make sure you monitor the voltages for surges and spikes. So if you have any surge or spike, incoming surge or spike on your line side, that will cause it to trip. Secondly, look at maybe adding a line reactor or a surge suppressor if you want to avoid that trip. Third scenario will be if the drive trips while decelerating. If that happens, then you need to increase the deceleration time. Again, it can be found under parameters, under settings, and your acceleration and deceleration times are listed right here. So you can try increasing the deceleration time to see if that helps avoid the trip. The other reason could be a region energy from an overhauling load or high inertia load that can increase the bus voltage. So make sure you don't have such a condition that is causing the overbreaking fault. Next, uh, you can also consider adding a dynamic braking resistor, which will basically absorb all that extra energy because of that overhauling load or the extra energy coming from maybe from the line side also. Finally, uh, there are some applications such as pump jack or shaker table where a parameter called ENA uh, that is available on these drives, on the 71 drive, and make sure that ENA parameter is enabled. And again, you can just type in ENA here and we'll take you right there. It's called the ENA system and make sure that parameter is enabled for certain special applications. Uh, before you can change the ENA, make sure your motor control type, which is CTT parameter, is set to SVCV. So those are some of the possible reasons where an OBF fault can come from. And this concludes the video for how to troubleshoot an OBF fault on ATV61 and ATV 
so many one drives.